Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B-Pow Picks Edition. Free NHL Picks Frolic, I like to call it, too. That's why I have it on the thumbnail like that. Uh, so, we this is Friday night of the, uh, what is it, the 11th today? Or no, 12th. 12th. 12th today. And uh, we had ourselves a pretty fine evening, boys and girls, for picks. So we're going to go over those. Uh, now, I, I told you we read the letter yesterday from uh, Helga, who said that uh, she quite often doesn't have time to listen to my whole video. And she would like me to do the picks like early if it could. And then we could go on and discuss. And I thought, you know what? That's what I'm here for. Also, I had somebody in the comment section, and we love your comments. Comment down there in the comment section, because much frolic has had when we do that. Said that my audio was not was low, a little low. Can you please comment if my audio is okay? I brought my mic, like right here. You can see it. So, maybe that was a problem. I don't know. I just uh, what well, we'll we'll do that anyways. Okay. Let's get right. We're going to give the picks for all the impatient people and then quickly. And then we're going to go over them so you can hear how we got them. We can see how we did yesterday. And you'll get a little deeper look at the picks. Remember, though, you guys doing these picks, you're going out here scrambling and taking the picks. Uh, this does not necessarily mean it's going to be like this tomorrow. There's a lot of goaltenders that haven't been confirmed yet, injuries and all that stuff like that. But if this helps you out, you want to play these ones, the early picks, let's do it. Uh, Bruins, Bruins in reg, under 5.5. Stars, ML, under 5.5. Penguins in reg, over 6. Capitals, ML, over 6. Lightning in reg, over 5.5. Calgary ML under five and a half. Blues ML under five and a half. Ducks ML, and I, I don't know, they're getting crushed today. Why am I going Ducks? I don't know. Ducks ML under five and a half. And Canucks ML under five and a half. And yes, that's it. That's all of them. So there you go. You can hopefully you can write all that down or go over it a couple times there you got your picks you don't have to wait through the whole video um thanks for subscribing to the channel I per we're sending pearls of wisdom necklaces out like crazy if you would like your own pearls of wisdom necklace uh another one if you'd like another one then who wouldn't you can always have two right maybe one's in the wash or what have you uh, of course, you can go to any store that sells things and just ask for the pearl necklace section and wear the pearl and ne wisdom necklaces. And I'm sure they'll direct you right to it. If you do that, please uh, record that and send it to me or like TikTok it or something. Uh, I'd like to use it in an advertisement. Okay, so let's look at our picks from yesterday, shall we? All right. Or from tonight, whatever. From the 12th, whatever it is for you. Uh, there's a game going on right now. Uh, I was bad. I had an IML on this one in particular. But we had the over. We only need one more goal. It's 5 nothing San Jose. The over was a bigger play. And we're going to talk about that right now, so I don't even know why I'm mentioning that to you. Uh, okay, I want to go here. Here, here we go. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about. Uh, we're looking for one more goal for over five and a half. Come on, Sharks, pull it out. Not usual that it happens on a game like this, that there's a goal scored in five minutes, so we might not get it, but we'll see. San Jose likes to score, and they don't care when they score. So uh, I'm surprised in that game that Dubnik played as well as he did. Anaheim shot. Uh, that was the reason why I went over, because Dubnik hasn't been playing well this year. <laughs> But last game in this game, he's looked good. And the whole question there was, would Nabokov, the goalie coach, who used to be the goaltender for the San Jose Sharks, if you do remember, a fantastic one at that. I do believe he won a Vesna. I do believe he did. 
Uh, he's like the goalie whisperer, apparently, and it looks like possibly he's gotten through to Dubnik. And that would be great for the San Jose Sharks. Um, okay, this was a big play. Big play on the Patreon. Over, over, over all day. This was my favorite pick, and we got it. I had a small one on the Blues ML. I wasn't sure. It was going to go. I said it could go either way, and it could go either way because it went 5-4. Now, here was the thing. I would not have taken the Blues ML. I was told that Flurry was still in uh, quarantine, and then all of a sudden he's playing. Isn't that a tricky little set of business right there? Tick me off. Anyways, so I would not have taken uh, St. Louis if I would have known Flurry was playing, but he was, and that really, like, angers me. Okay, Wild. We had the Wild in regulation. Even, I think I offered a PL on that too. I do that sometimes. I'll say in reg, you know, if you're feeling randy, go get yourself a PL on that, and hopefully my... Uh, uh, patrons did and if you would like to be a patron you just go to the patron app Uh, I'll put the link in the bio actually you know what I yeah put the link in the bio or you can ask me in the comment section I'll send it to you and I'll give you the I'll give you a month uh, the rest of this month for free to check it out whatever and uh, if you like it stick around if you don't it doesn't cost you anything Um, while so we got the wild but we had the over, but only for a little bit. The big one was the wild for large pearls, whatever you mean, whatever large pearls is for you. We were putting that on that. Uh, Oilers also for large pearls. I had it in reg. Um, would you like to see here? I'll show you something. I'll show you. This is my Patreon right here. I'll show you my published published post for this. Come on, if it's going to work for me. Okay, yes. Uh, Here we go. I had Oilers versus Senators. This is what I said. I said, in the world of logic, the Oilers PL this game almost all the time. So go for it if you're feeling randy. However, I'm not sure that there is a more underachieving team in the NHL than the Oilers based on the roster on paper. The Oilers scored plenty last game. They played the Sens and barely beat them the game before when Ottawa was on a back-to-back. I do not have much faith in Koskinen. Now, I thought Koskinen was going to be in net. If I would have known it was Smith, I would have peeled this all day. Uh, if he is in and might and might well be, which is why I lean over here, Murray is in net for the Sens. Looks like it's been wildly inconsistent this year. I'll play it safe with Reg in reg with the Oilers and may adjust the total with goaltender confirmations. I had medium pearls on the over six and a half. Never took it down even when I found out Smith was in. Just had a feeling that that was going to stay that way. Oilers over Senators in reg paid 165, but if you put five pearls on it, you're doing not too bad. Uh, Or units, if you like to call it that. I like to call it pearls. Okay, because I'm Pearl of Wisdom, right? Exactly. Okay, uh, so there there you go. That's the sort of thing we do here. I do that for every single game. Every single game, every day, I give you an analysis like that on every um, game. And just to show you, if you don't believe me, I don't know why you wouldn't believe me, but I do. So I also do NCAA picks. We hit that. I do. See? Every game, every game, every game. Okay, let's go back to this now. Uh, Golden Knights versus the Blues. Wild. Okay, we did that. Did that. Avalanche versus Kings. We had the Avalanche in regulation. I believe I should have looked. I think that was for large, too. But we did have the over for small. And I would... Another one of those ones with that... All of a sudden, Peterson shows up for the Kings. I never go over on this game if Peterson's in there. It was supposed to be Groshenek. And if Groshenek was in, I was over all day on this game. So, there we go. Now, let's go to tomorrow's game, shall we? Tomorrow's games. 
we have Boston versus the Rangers. Now, I did a uh, analysis. I was the I was the analyst for uh, Off the Wall Hockey, who is going to be doing this game tomorrow morning. Go subscribe to his channel. You want to be watching Off the Wall Hockey's play by play. It's fantastic. You got to do it. And I'm fortunate enough that on occasion. They, oh, look at San Jose. We caught the over. They did score another goal. Look at that. We got the over on San Jose. Sweet. Anyways, um, every once in a while, he'll allow me. The, I call him the goat. He'll allow me to go on with him. And uh, it's much frolic. So, But tomorrow he'll be doing that. Anyways, the Rangers looked absolute trash last game. Now, they could come back and not look trash the next game. Could be. Possible. Could be a wake-up call. Panarin's supposed to be in here. Uh, that could give them a boost. I would hope that would give them a boost. But I'm telling you, if it's not a boost for you to win for Panarin with all the crap he's going through, what kind of a boost is it when he comes back? I don't know. Uh, I got to go Boston here in regulation. Uh, we don't have in reg on here. Uh, usually it's about 25 over whatever the, the total is. So... 20 is 176, 180. 180 for Boston in a reg there is pretty darn good. Also, Boston has their number. Over under, I'm not very confident about, but Boston seems to play under a lot. Like the last game, Boston probably could have destroyed the Rangers, but they took a nap in the third period with the Rangers. They got all cuddly together and just let it go and then finished. And that Boston does that. They're smart because they know this is going to be a long season. And, uh, you know, if you have a place where there, nobody's pushing you back like the Rangers weren't, you might as well take it easy. And they did. So I'm going to say the under after all that is what I'm saying. Under. Yeah, we're going under. Uh, Stars versus Columbus. This Columbus, until this Columbus team shows like they have any heart at all, I got to take the opposition every time. Uh, Dallas outplayed Chicago their last game by quite a bit and still lost. They've been having that. They've been just getting some bad luck, really. Um, I'm going to take Dallas. Uh, you're getting ML at 180. Just take the ML. is fine. I could see an in reg on this. Columbus is playing that bad. Thing is, Merzlikin should be back in. He got lit up last game, but it wasn't his fault. Um, I just don't see cohesion with Columbus. And until I do, I'm not going to take him, I don't think. So I'm taking Dallas ML. Uh Penguins in reg. I don't think I did my weekly on this team, these teams. Columbus has been playing a lot, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is the begin oh, first game of a back-to-back, -back, so they might even go with uh, Corpus Allo here. If that's the case, I might even go on over. Corpus Allo is trash. Trash. Um, Hudobin didn't play well last game. I have a feeling that the kid's going to be in, so I don't know. Give me tomorrow. I may put an over here, but as of right now, I'm going to stick with an under for that game. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Buffalo. I'm taking Pittsburgh in regulation, and I'm going over six for less, but big, uh, but uh, Pittsburgh in regulation for sure. Uh, I don't know when Buffalo is going to win another game, but it's probably not here. They'll probably win one eventually, maybe, but the energy on that team is absolutely horrible. That is a team that is almost playing like they think Eichel is out, gone, or something. Major moves are going to be happening, and they're just like, yeah, whatever. That's what it looks like. So how do you pick that team? I don't know. Uh, Chicago versus Florida. Tough one. Chicago's last two games against Dallas, first they got lit up on one. Uh, then Letnick came in and just stopped every puck. The way Chicago's going to win this game is that is going to happen again. Uh, Lankinen. Did I say Lightning Lankinen? Um, it says Bobrovsky for Florida, but, and I believe Florida has some rest here now too. So, um, no significant injuries on both. So while Strowman, Strowman's fairly significant. Their first game back off a long road trip. Oh, I don't like picking people, teams on first games back after a long road trip, especially when it's quick like this. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go light pearls on Florida Amil here. I'm kind of scared about that game. 
Kind of scared about that game. Uh, probably under, though. Probably under five and a half. I think Drigger will be in net. I'd say under would be the biggest best play here. Did I put under on that? What do we have? Under six. You're getting six? Yeah, under. Under. And the reason why I say that is the first game from back off of a road trip, players have to do family stuff. And it, it gets their mind off of hockey, especially when it's only one game. I could see Chicago winning this game. And it happens to just about every team. Now, if it's not going to happen to a team, Florida is a team that it won't happen to. Just the way they're dialed in so far this year, it's possible it won't. But I would put that on, like I'm on the fence. So I really, maybe Chicago PL. What are you getting on the PL? What are you getting on the spread for that? One, one Almost the same. Maybe Chicago PL is probably the best play there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Washington, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is my team and I can't touch them. There's no way I can touch them. Uh, I got to take Washington ML. I would think Philadelphia could bounce back here, but their defense has been just so terrible. The only thing I know for sure is that it's over six for this game. I'm taking over six. That I know for sure. Uh, Nashville versus Tampa Bay. Tampa got to wake up here right <laughs> they almost lost they they barely beat to detroit then they lose to detroit uh yeah i'm taking nashville in reg is a poor play here I, can they pl this this Vas vasileski will be in net uh yeah PL, PL Nashville. I think Nashville is actually the worst team in the league over Detroit, to tell you. Or no, maybe Ottawa. But I think Nashville is actually worse than Detroit. And I just can't see Tampa Bay not getting their crap together for this game. I, I just can't see it. So Tampa PL, and uh, we are going to go over. Over, I think, total. Five and a half. Are they going to slam them that bad? I'm, I'm on the fence. Put small pearls on the over. Uh, Calgary versus Montreal. Montreal is playing four games in six nights. Came uh, after a back-to-back. -back. Calgary has Daryl Sutter there. They're going to be playing defense all day now. Every game. Def they're going to hear, hear the word defense so many times. They're going to be waking up in the middle of the night screaming defense. That's the way Daryl Sutter coaches. So you can be pretty much sure, and I think Mark, he also rides goaltenders. Markstrom will probably be in net here against Price. I'm taking Calgary ML and the under. Uh, just Montreal's played an awful lot. I'm not as big on the, on the line as I am the total. See, oh, it's five and a half. I still say under. Yeah, that would be my play there. Toronto versus Winnipeg. You got to think Toronto's going to win. Last two games have been over. You keep on thinking, I keep on thinking that it's not going to be over at six and a half, but they just barely eke it out. A lot of firepower here. Um, Hollebuck has been playing amazing, but Toronto has really outplayed them both games. Um, I'm going to go back to Toronto again. I think Winnipeg loses their legs on this one. Uh, plays it tight to the, just tries to hold on in this game. And does manage to get it to be like a 4-1 game. I'll go the under again. I'll go back to the under on here for not very large. Uh, and Toronto for medium. I think Toronto, Winnipeg has been on, will have now been on the road for like three or four. Uh, and Toronto really has been outplaying them. So I'm going to go with that. Before I do that, let me see. I don't think I checked the injuries on this one. Uh, Boyu is out. That's big. Any goaltender is out for De Winnipeg is big. I mean, Boyu is not a great goaltender, but Winnipeg doesn't really have that much depth. So, yeah, we'll go with Winnipeg. Uh, San Jose versus Anaheim. Uh, Anaheim just lost 6 nothing, And they had Gibson in that. Miller should be in for this one. Jones should be in. Okay, I'm going to go on, under on this one. 
Because usually San Jose and Anaheim play under. Usually. I'm going to go under on this one. Is my main play. But San Jose, when they get a confidence like that against a team, they usually keep on crushing them. So I'm going to say San Jose ML. Again, we don't have lines much for this, so you just have to take whatever line whenever it comes. You just got opening. They put their lines out way early. Edmonton, Vancouver. Edmonton on a back-to-back. -back. They're flying from Edmonton to Vancouver, which isn't much of a flight, but they got to go get in and do all that. Blah, you know, it's a back-to-back. Corpus Salo is going to be in. I'm taking Vancouver. Vancouver is going to give you plus money on the ML. I wouldn't go huge. I wouldn't go huge because Vancouver's really been having a struggle. But against a tired Edmonton team that can be very inconsistent, I think it would be a bad idea to give it a shot here. One thing's for sure. This is probably going to be a six and a half. I'm going under. They always play under. I don't know why they six and a half this. And Vancouver has got Peterson in. My biggest play would be on the total here over the side. Put small pearls on Vancouver. Anyways, we're probably that was a lot of games. We're probably running long, so I should probably let you go. I also got to get to bed. I do. Well, that's my full 42. Have a great day, everyone. There won't be any picks for tomorrow because, I, in fact, I usually don't do them for Saturday, but I just had nothing else to do today, so I did it. When spring and summer hits, I won't be doing that, but you can get picks. Just go to the Patreon you got a $5 package there if you want to, but start yourself out with the $25. i will give it to you for free, and you can go down to the 5 or 20 or whatever if you want. On the $25 package, though, you get parlays. You get all the best picks. Plus, once hockey's over, we got, uh, I, we're doing UFC now. We got NCAA. I'm getting a new baseball guy in. Uh, Ricketts Picks is fantastic as well. Go over there. He's probably going to help me. We help each other out a little bit. Ricketts Picks is amazing. He's probably the best ball capper in the land. Go check him out. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. K-Ball.